Hey yo, welcome back to another episode of Zazis Events of the Month. Happy New Year, happy 2022. Hey man, and we're back at it again trying to conquer this January disease. But you know, we're here, we're here, we've never left. You know what I mean? Who knows? Who knows? But we're here counting down the top 10 MC verses in the month of January 2022 because. Zim rappers don't have jobs, so therefore they'll always release songs. Okay, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I love the culture. Come on, I'm just playing. I'm just playing. Okay, cool. All right, we're gonna we're gonna braze through this one because uh, I feel we've been doing some analysis and like, mm, okay, maybe people just need timestamps. And as soon as you see like an episode that's too long, you don't want to get into it. So we're like, okay, cool. We're gonna try and keep it short. So I'm gonna try and keep it short and count down the top ten verses for the month of. Generally, at least the ones that I saw anyways. Coming through at number 10 is the MC all the way from the king, the city of kings uh, with a tune called Chill and Vibe. Strong start, which is a little bit mellow. Should I say strong? Maybe not. Maybe not as strong as I wanted it to be. Uh, from someone called uh, the MC, uh, but it was a different vibe as well, just from things that he usually releases uh, before. So this one was, I don't think I've ever heard a love song, a love song released in January. I don't know, or maybe people do that before, before Valentine's, maybe that was it. But you know, very heartfelt, some decent writing on this, very chill as the name of the track suggests as well uh boom back bosh straight to the point in and out you know what i mean i i, I was like yeah cool 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 uh might not be to my taste but i see what it's about and that's the mc coming through at number 10. on that facebook going through her pictures thinking baby got a nice look moving on to number nine straight out of cheat town is tendai global where they keep it moving but I'm as so and keep moving. Quite have a cool giving up at this point will be foolish. The label does my own me. This, this is another heartfelt joint as well. Um, very you should watch the video, maybe you'll see what I what I what I mean. Um, if you if you like those deep struggle songs, uh, this one's for you. And the verse here, uh, to start things off is pretty you know, it's pretty heartfelt, very honest, very vulnerable as well. I guess, you know, it's expected from an artist who is painting a picture that they have nothing to lose. And I would say, you know what, in a perfect world, um, this, as a friend of mine said to me, like in a perfect world, uh, this song would be Tendai's Ndare Merwa to what Holy Ten, to what it did for Holy Ten. You know what I mean? But the world is not perfect. So um, here we are. But, you know, like... If you like a depiction of how things are tough in this country, uh, go check it out. Tendai Global, keep it moving. Uh, the video is also out. Of my Kore Kukwaza, we really put into this. But of course you wouldn't know. How would you? Murana Judas. Type that to Batisa Moving on to our number eight. It's a diasporan, but also uh, a son from the City of Kings. It is a Blue Jay with a no validation freestyle. Now this is uh, a different a different type of sound or something I, I wasn't expecting uh, to hear but uh, straight off and hot off his album uh, Donatella um, Blue Jay comes through on this verse as well as he shares again his struggle. Yo, it's been two tracks already and we're talking about the struggle, right? Hey, is it January? Maybe it's the theme for January. But I, I, I really like the honesty, the transparency here. He really shared his uh, insecurities, really shared um, how, where he feels as an artist and where he's going. If he ever feels like, you know, he's going to get there as well. Like, I, it's a few people who can be that vulnerable and say, yo, man, I don't. I don't know if this rap thing is gonna work, man, but there's a really cool um, voice uh, clip in there uh, about someone, I'm guessing it's his friend. He's like, yo, bro, just keep pushing, just keep pushing. And it, it is what it is, you know what I mean? It's very honest as I expected. Now, the flow didn't really do much for me here, but you know, I, I didn't mind as much. And the rhyme structure really could have been better, but it was really cool. Uh, Venek bars as well, dude was spitting in, in Shona, which is 
which is dope. So shout out to Blue J coming through at number eight. Moving on to our number seven, it'll be a crime if I didn't uh, involve this one, regardless of stature, and it is Holy Ten on Mbuya. Vana Munya. Tom down, Clala Pants, Cara Pasi, Pasu da Juntano Padamai. In a Sinito, yes, as a mine. Most the famous people are no Sia Anamari. Again, this dude, man, I don't. Like I said, I can't ignore this one. Uh, you know, I'm afraid I really can't. Uh, but then again, it's it's Holy Ten, and it will come with a lot of references that you're not gonna get, with a lot of lingo, with a lot of slang and swag. That you know what I mean. And that's what I. That's the vibe that I got from this verse. Where um, I was like, okay, cool. Like, I guess it was packaged as a diss track of the Violent series. I'm not really following. I think these dudes are homies, you know. But it's 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 Holy Ten and. Um, I think this is an example of familiarity breeds contempt. Is that the word? Is that the phrase? I think that's the phrase. Where you're getting way too used to someone where it's just like, man, I don't know if I still rocks with it like that. You know what I mean? Because it's been consistently a similar template. Like it, it is feeling like, um, what's that one called Wongs when you're making beats? A preset. Yeah, it, it feels like a preset where I'm just like, I think Holy Ten has certain presets of the beat is going to be like this, the flow is going to be like this, and that's it. But overall, it's, 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 it's cool. The video is nice. Um, I like the beat, but ultimately, very forgettable. But thankfully, Holy Ten is great fans, so this will definitely slap at a show. I know, um, with this voice, like as soon as you say that, people are going to go crazy. So shout out shout out to him don't go or go in that up the scale to and this is john co and this good like them are dance moves i was talking to come on i keep a friends kato kama ksen kanga kato rwane pens kata tanga kunzwa kumba moving on to our number six it is linden on the tune chile day the ass like boy where you been when they got a challenge in below it rough with tando no rough when they got a challenge because living on fame surviving is broke has never been part of the plan nigga I'm not even sure if this was the first track released in I think it was released on the 1st of January actually um, if I'm not mistaken but a strong strong start to kick us off uh, onto the year by Linden I I, I I like this joint it's very brazy it's very raw um, it's very very aggressive like his aggression is very um, on point the beat I like the beat the production there and I just like I said I really felt like it was a great way to, to to get started uh in the year linden is definitely one of those dudes who are sharp with a pen um and you know it's, it's when when we talk about pens from the city of kings from blau Ayo, um he's one of the guys that you send there and i think you guys should definitely check out uh his mixtape what's it called what's the mixtape called uh, i forgot i forgot i forgot this mixtape man it's a dope mixtape from last year uh but go check it out uh, it's really really dope uh that's linden aka the off-world sensei coming through at number six you throw a hustle i pick it up my nigga in shambles i pick him up and one of those niggas will stop with the bros until she say she gonna give me some i stay a hundred my nigga hustle for light on my nigga i stay a hundred my nigga moving on to our number four Five. This is one of my favorite tracks out right now. It's from Luminous. It's called Essentially Live. Now, given I actually heard this song before it came out, I was like, mm, you know, but I really did like the first verse on this joint. Like, I think it takes impeccable skill uh, to make your verse dope lyrically. Uh, in how you express yourself and it's on a song that is pushed as an anthem and that has been one of luminous's greatest gifts and contributions i think to uh, zim hip-hop which is just his ability to make to make bangers to make anthems to make songs that will grab your attention at a live show like i think this tune was created specifically for that and it's great throughout like the range that he shows here from the flow switch ups um, and the way how he uses and just how comfortable he is um, spitting in Debele. I 
found that really, really, really dope, man. Like this dude says, in Petamatita, see the creep and that is Sparta. Let's go. Come on, man. I can't even hate on that. That was really, really fire. The video is dope as well. And y'all go stream that joint. It's luminous coming through at number five with me, Cindy Lee. <laughs> Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of Nobody Raps Like That. I am Phil Makedos, on your certified hater of Zimbabwean hip hop, breaking down your favorite lines from your favorite rappers because everybody needs a laugh once at a time. All right, we decipher whose bar was that today, and the bar goes something like this Mariwa Kakuita interview. No shia basa. Who said that bar? Was it option A, T Gonzo, option B, Maskiri, or option three, Enzo Aisha? Well, if you guessed any of those three, you are absolutely wrong because it is the greatest of all time, the lyrical miracle himself, the incredible Munezi on Chi Town to Mashing. I must admit. It was a really cold song, amazing. In fact, but that bar, I will not let you get away with that because nobody raps like that. If God interviews you, you will not get a job. That is the literal translation of this verse. And I do not understand in what context can anyone possibly think of saying that on a track. But hey, if it's got a rhyme, it's got a rhyme. But I'm afraid, I must say, not even your goats are saved because nobody raps like that. And that was not a hot bar. Moving on to our number four. Before other submissions came through, you know what's crazy? This was actually uh, my number one verse. So let me just put that disclaimer out there. And it is M to the V to the P, uh, MV Pani or Mapani, uh, with the verse or January disease. I said I'm a true simple, but don't support the warriors. Nah. Just the gold state warriors. Yeah. Story, you Coming can't. through strong, I think. This is from a Busta Rhymes beat, right? I think so. My producer tells me it's a Busta Rhymes beat. It's one of my favorite Busta beats. And it's passed, it's passed, 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 passed through. If anything, I think this is top two, and I'll explain why uh, later on. This is top two strongest uh, starts to a verse uh, on this list. Uh, like I really, I really, I really liked how he, how he came through um, on this one. I mean, he flows really well, like, he he writes and raps along to this like it was written like a freestyle like as if it's coming off the dome but it's clever and it's not incoherent which is what i always appreciate so uh shout out to mv pani on this which is dope i think um there are some sports bars obviously so we're gonna have to add here but it's a strong start where he says i'm a true zimbo but I, but i don't support the warriors just the golden state warriors because the story is just like he goes through and he says they attend the goal and shoot it down pistorius ah <laughs> that was really dope like his enunciation pronunciation pronunciation of words um on on how like on the end rhyme of the bars like it was i liked it i really really liked it and it's consistent throughout with some unpredictable switch ups as well throughout it the rhymes are unpredictable i like it i like everything about it man i like it could have been number one could have been four it's here it is what it is stop concord trying to brag no it don't flop keep it old school like o2 or o4 put it no folk you don't know what a mofo prince fence bones with them right Moving on to our number three, which is almost a bit of a toss up, I think, depending on preference. Um, but this is my preference. So depending on preference, you let me know what you think. Uh, it's a toss up between three and two. It is Brian Willis making a strong, strong return with the cash bid freestyle ventilation six. Uh, they say I need to go Drake on these niggas and give a scorpion sting, but I'd rather write my own disses unlike the OVO King. I'm sure as hell ain't singing to get the message across. Like how you- Nah, I just gotta say it out there, man. This dude is definitely one of my favorite pens uh in zimbabwean hip-hop i think when i talk about people that i enjoy their writing style and 
you know how how they put their rhymes together the lyricism like you can tell these are students of the game there's someone who enjoys uh, the art of lyricism and has just studied how to put together be it a diss track how to put together um a, a fire fire like verse with 16s with hot bars and, and things like that and that really um rocks with this one now the disclaimer here is this might not be the best ventilation of the best of the ventilation series i don't think um, it's the best one but there is way more venom than i signed up for in this joint and there's so many quotables here it's crazy like the <laughs> so many quotables is crazy it's also a strong start um like i like i said it's a toss-up between every party and and this when it comes to starting uh the verse when he says they say i got a drake on this nigga so i give a scorpion sting uh but i write but i rather write my own disses like i like the ovio king it's dissing people and just dissing drake what what's up <laughs> <laughs> i don't know if he's gonna listen to this <laughs> but i just like that um and you know what i mean like it, it was it was abrasive but it was also witty there's some self-deprecation as well this dude says uh let's get it straight like my bars not like my teeth the <laughs> niggas were happy when i quit because they couldn't compete <laughs> listen i wasn't expecting that i wasn't expecting that at all um but yeah man like it was it was really really cool there's some sports bias here where he says i blame myself at the empire um, let's start the sports so you know another sports bar there because zim rappers like sports bars um but it was it was really end to end fire 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 venom 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 uh throughout um he throws shots at i don't know we'll see he says uh, regardless of you being a b i wish you well my nigga okay <laughs> like i said there's way too much venom that i signed up for here i mean there's shots at the comic pasta there's shots at i think is his co-host uh and from the keep it real podcast uh there's shots at takura i think there's also shots at junior brown i think there's shots at some groupies i don't know who the groupies are who stay away from married men but you know what i mean like i was just like this is this is too much it's too much venom for me uh but it's crazy and nonetheless man like i said go check that freestyle out um brian willis is definitely out there i had the night sweating and wetting their sheets they had their producers trying to make them the miracle beats truth be told you can never force the art so i made myself the umpire moving on to number two uh yo yo crazy 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 it is my man fuse on Jodacy 2 or Jodacy Jodacy 2 I think that's how it's pronounced see a whole lot of snakes that slither but won't kiss Ray said to talk my sh** Shit, aiming for the top won't settle for top six strong strong another 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 dope hook from arguably the greatest hook writer in zim hip-hop right now and that's on mary had a little lamb bay yeah can't complain can't complain no complaints there um I, and listen i'm not even gonna spend too much time on this just go listen to the verse it's really dope like i said it's a toss-up between two and three just depending on what you prefer um from a verse but i just liked how nonchalant how cool how suave this is just how the delivery the multi-syllable rhyming i just liked it you know when he says um they slid up i won't hiss they bit up i won't diss a nigga this better known as a killer that don't miss sheesh it's too much too much too much too much and i think on this song he is also probably the coldest delivery of a line that i like i think he says um a way where he's talking to himself and he says yo uh, but whoever thought you make it this far when you was in art class spitting freestyles me i'm like yeah <laughs> come on man fuse is dangerous i like this i like this joint right here that's fuse coming through at number two hey, fuse a beach now who would have thought you make it this far when you was in art class spitting freestyles me Right around with my tank on. Moving on to number one. Unfortunately, Rake has dropped. So, yeah, I'm biased, but it's still true nonetheless. But I'm biased. It's Rake has coming through at number one on Jodacy 2 as well. Really, this it for me. More blessed are all my angels willing to sit for me. Aiming for Italy. What a- New Year. Same rapper. 
<laughs> close the ears, just the new one. But then again, just call it said, guys. Maybe, 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 maybe I'm crazy. Listen, I'm not even gonna get into the whole verse because there's way too many, way too many bars, way too much lyricism uh, here. But it's yeah, like I said, man. Unfortunately, Ray dropped, so it's just gonna make it, and it's gonna make it very difficult for me going through this whole show unless someone else comes with a better verse. I haven't seen or heard it yet, um, so it's just. Yeah, we might need to we might need to stop this show because yeah, it's going to be hard. Or I might need to employ a new a new committee that votes. Yeah, I think we should do that because ish. Yeah. Anyways, I'm just gonna quote two bars here where uh, it, he says, "If Biggie and Parker in Cuba, y'all the only reason uh, that stop them from returning is big boys Andre coming to cast you out." Three stakes says, "I dunk on you like Andre Drummond." Uh, <laughs> I don't know what you want. I don't, <laughs> I don't know what you want, man. Like, I think, listen, just the writing, the double entendre here, good uh, It's big boys, as in big boy, who's part of uh, Outcast, um, and Ray coming, or Andre coming, Andre 3000, uh, to cast you out, Outcast. Three stacks says I'll dunk on you. Three stacks, $3,000, or three stacks, aka Andre 3000. Listen, uh, I don't even want to get into it. That's, it's no comparison. And it's weird because he even says so. Because he says, uh, please don't compare me to so and so. Because every time I play your favorites, the niggas is so and so. Ah, yeah, yeah. No disrespect to local artists. Uh, you low on the totem pole. Uh, I'm at the table with the Kendricks and Coles and Eminem's with the venomous flows. Ish, ish. <laughs> I'm going to stop right there. That's our number one for January 2022. Let me know in the comments. Maybe I'm delusional. Maybe I'm just going to stop this channel right here, man. I don't know but it's really not fair but shout out to the mcs on this list and hope to hear from more with that being said i've been moving this has been the best of the month catch you on the next one